During the apocalypse, we haven't been able to have a yarn sale. But since we're everybody's go-to to get rid of the stuff that's good, that they can't bear to throw away, that they don't want to dick with, my entire loft and my freaking barn, my shop building, one of my shop buildings, I know, shut up, I have more than one shop building, right? Um, is now full. Hand me that camera. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> some of this stuff's really good shit, right? And some of it I'll probably use. But most of it is garbage nobody wanted! <laughs> and so what's happening right now? I'm up to my ass in alligators trying to get my big project done because Lynn's daughter's coming in four days. All right. But I don't have time to dick with that. Why? Because in the middle of all of this shit, and I do mean shit, Lynn's mother and her sister decide that they're going to live together in the house, but of course her mother's a hoarder, her sister's a hoarder. And guess what happens twice a week? Twice a week, I get to figure out where to put all the shit Lynn's cleaning out of their fucking houses. And this is not the stuff that I'm throwing away. <laughs> all of this shit now has to get added to that shit because it's still not safe to have a freaking yard sale. Yay. Couple of months it will be. And then we'll probably have one that we'll just have for two or three weeks. Yep, probably. Because this is ridiculous. Yes. But what does this tell you? You could literally run a secondhand store if you let every one of your friends and family members know that you will take the crap they don't want. Yes, you could. Here's the problem. Once they find out you make money on it, they want money, too. <laughs> they want money, too. Yeah. And these are all blankets and linens and sheets and towels. And why my sister, who is a widow, had one, two, three, four, five, six large leaf bags full. That she's willing to part with. That's what she's parting with. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess we'll go sign off for now.